Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today I've got a shipment from Mutant Beaver Comics out of Prince Edward Island in Canada. And I'm gonna walk you through the unboxing, show you how they pack the comics, and we'll take a look and see what kind of condition they're in. All right, here we go. So a very sturdy box altogether. Um, caution stickers, stickers handled with care, um, letting everybody know to be careful with uh, the outer package. Looks to be in, in pretty good shape. Um, so uh, I'm hoping everything inside is well protected. And so we'll get to it by first taking out my switchblade, cutting through the ends. All right, and then we'll cut through the bottom. And this is a U-line mailer. Uh, additional tape on the inside. I'll cut through that as well. Looks to be wrapped in one of those um, plastic mailers as well um, that I've typically seen recently. All of this is uh, got two pieces of cardboard here, tape. So pretty thorough job of packing and securing the books. I'm gonna get in there and get rid of the tape. Through there as well. And just try and got a little bit left here. It feels like what they did was um yeah, they took a UPS padded envelope and wrapped the books in it. I've seen people do that with um with the priority mail bubble wrap as well. Again, I, I love and hate all the tape. Um, at some point the extra tape becomes unnecessary. Um, but I get it, they're trying to secure it, but um, what I found is if it's too secure, there's you got to have uh, a little bit of room to breathe. Um, you don't want it obviously sliding around and, and, and hitting the corners of the books, but um, you want to give things a little bit of a room to breathe, uh, because if it's wrapped too tight, um, you end up putting so much stress on the books. And then there's also, I have to be careful here, an opportunity to cut through the comics themselves, which obviously I don't want to do. Um, so I'm going to try and lift this off instead of cutting it. Now let's get into the final wrapping. More tape here. Again, all you need is just a little piece of scotch tape. This is going nowhere. Um, certainly appreciate the effort, but I, I just, I worry at this point because with my hands, I'm starting to dig right into the books. Um, I'm also trying to pull this back so am I, am I grabbing part of the comics too? And what I'm hoping inside are, are some of those uh, top loaders or something else that's protecting me from myself and damaging the books even further. So I'm gonna try and peel this off. This is also sealed. I have to put just the, just the right amount of pressure on this so that I don't, I don't damage the books. This is really tough. I don't wanna cut it necessarily, but I may have to. Just kind of go up the edge here. I should be away from the books, hopefully. This is quite a process. Again, um, I'm just gonna take a peek. Yeah, I don't see, uh, I don't see, I'm just gonna take a peek here. I don't see top loaders. I think it's just the cardboard. So instead of pulling and risking further damage, I'm just gonna cut the rest here. I mean, this uh, shipment bag is really strong. So it's a good thing, but also a little tough to get to the books, which again, I'd rather them arrive in great condition. Looking right there, are we dealing with impact damage? Uh, it doesn't look like it, just some folded boards that worried me for a second. All right, almost there. This should slide right out. And this is what I'm talking about. It's it's wrapped so tightly that I can't get the books out. So I don't want to bend the books. I'm just going to cut it one more time. And see, I cut through this. Uh, <laughs> I cut right through this blade card. Well, it's still going on the desk. Poor blade. How ironic. Okay. This is the other problem. This sticky, it's sticking. So this is the inside of the UPS bag. And this is sticky, sticking to the books themselves. 
so it's still not coming off. So now I've got that part. I gotta peel away. Okay, I think I am finally at the books. All right, now let's check out the order. So these are Department of Truth store exclusives. Fantastic covers. They look to be in pretty good shape. And just looking at it from the, the bag and board perspective. Uh, great branding on the back. Boards look to be pretty good. So looks like they arrived okay. Um, some spine ticks there, not color breaking, but still um, probably just at first glance a 9.6 on that. All right, what else did we get here? Ordered a couple of these Rose Besh Department of Truth variants as well. Those look pretty good. Hmm, interesting on this one. I hope that's not on the book. I don't know if you can see. It's definitely not on this, so you could... Um, this one looks okay, same thing. Spine ticks in the middle, spine tick right there. Uh, definitely some folding. So this is what I was talking about. So uh, I don't wanna blame the shipment, but so first let's look at this one. Uh, right in here, you could see up and down, right in here, there is a, um, a crease that goes all up and down the book. So what I'm afraid of is when the books sit like this with the board and they're a little off center, and there's so much pressure from the wrapping and the tightness that it's pressing down on each other. Or even turned like this, you've got the spine on another one pushing down so heavily that you're, you're creasing it and it's all compressed inside the box. Now this one's interesting because it's, like you could see up there, I, first I thought it was a hair. And maybe it is somebody's hair that's going all the way through, I don't know get it in focus right right where the light is there there's, there's something but it's going all the way through the book um, even though it's disgusting I hope it's somebody's hair that got in there instead of a cut or crease in fact I'm gonna open it now I wasn't planning on doing this but now I'm so curious to find out what that is um, yep and that's exactly what it is it's somebody's hair Got in the book. That's really gross. Awesome. That's just nasty. Okay, well, at least it's not a giant cut or crease in the book. Um, I'm going to put this back and I'll grade it in more detail and screen it later. All right. Very strange. Now I got to get the hair off this. Um, great cover Legends of the Dark Knight 1. I believe this is the Warren Lou variant Harley Quinn just look at this bag and more though for a second this is what kind of drives me nuts like I love everything's well packaged but it slides off the board and you can see I can tell right there that's some massive corner damage and corner splitting and no doubt because it slid around in transit um, certainly wasn't protected I mean that's that's what happens when you're using these bags and boards that don't really um, match up. There's also some weird discoloration going across the middle. Oh, I'm not sure what to make about that, but great cover. Here's the trade dress. Um, and it looks like maybe that bag and board didn't have anything to do with it because that also has some, um, some tearing down there at the corner. Um, these are probably cardstock, I imagine. So to get a tear like that, um, that's not easy to do. So just at first glance, not too pleased with that right there either. Strange Academy 10. That looks to be okay. Uh, I don't see anything too significant. Some Something's up there, I don't know. Something on the book or the bag. Can't really tell what that is. Looks like to be a dent in the top. The corners look all right though. And then I got a bonus uh, thank you for your business book, um, Deceased Number Two. That was cool, they threw that in there. That was a very nice gesture. Very unexpected, looks pretty good. Um, I believe it's a Shannon Mayer cover there, a Deceased Number Two Wonder Woman. All right, so <clears throat> 
I need some more time with this order to go through the books and really see what happened there. Um, you know, it's too bad um, these two Harley Quinn books were damaged. Um, having the, the very long hair inside the Department of Truth Rose Besh was also pretty disgusting. But uh, that is your unboxing video. Uh, stay tuned for a future video where I'll go through the grading and screening in more detail. But uh, that's it. Happy collecting. See you next time.